Hello everyone, welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial. Today we are going to be exploring staging our pistons and setting up a auto retract system for that. Um, before I get started, you may be curious, why should we stage our pistons? Well, simply it just makes the math easier when you have only have to divide speed up between multiple pistons, between like two or three pistons at a time, rather than like 12, 13. 126 please don't do 126 pistons it will not end well but um with that uh the system is actually really easy to set up and this is all you need and heck these uh are three black event controllers over here that's for something optional um so what we are going to need for this absolutely is we're going to need our pistons in this case, I'm doing three pistons, and each piston's going to kind of represent a group of pistons, because you can either do this with groups of pistons or just single pistons. And you're going to need an event controller for each group of pistons. So we have our red group, our blue group, and our green group. You're going to need a timer block and an additional event controller. So for three groups or three three pistons we're only going to need four event controllers and one timer block if i had four pistons i would need five event controllers and one timer block so for every groups of pistons you're going to need or pistons uh you're going to increase your event controllers by one so our First thing we want, need to do is we need to rename some of these pistons so they're easier to associate with the event controller. So we're going to go over here to our red one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here and put stage one as our tag. All right. And then we're going to just pop up to the next one. One's going to be our stage two. And our last one, um, you know what? If you guessed stage three, you would be right. All right. So those now that those are named, we're going to pop over here to our event controllers. So for each of these event controllers, they're all pretty much going to have the same events. And that is they're going to be checking the percentage of the pistons extension so it's uh, going to be a pretty repetitive here but so we're going to go to this red event controller our event controller seven uh, and this is going to be for our pistons stage one and you know i am just going to sit here i'm going to copy that tag so i can sit here and just use that for all the other event controllers all right so with that we want to make sure our event is set up to piston percentage and we want equal or greater than and we're going to set a hundred percent all right we're going to select our piston stage one as our target block and we're going to select our actions for our actions we're going to have it activate piston stage two and we want it to extend. So we got that. And then up to this blue event controller. Now paste that name. See where that kind of came in handy. Make that piston stage two. And same thing, except our target's going to be a little bit different. We're looking for piston percentage threshold 100%. Piston stage two, and we need it to activate our stage three piston. We want that ex to extend. This is the out of these four. This is the only well three, are the only one that's going to be a little bit different. Uh, still going to rename this to uh, something we can find later. Uh, this is going to be for stage three. Still, it's going to be set for our pist 
Piston percentage equal or greater than 100. Stage three, add our blocks. And for our actions, we are gonna select this timer block instead. We want it to trigger now. All right. So with that, we're gonna sit here and go to our timer block. And this is gonna be our retrack sequence. And we don't need to really do any of these because it's going to be a immediate trigger, but we're going to set up our actions. Oh, we're going to have an issue here. I forgot to do something important. That means grouping our pistons together for this one. Pistons all. We are going to need that. For this. All right. Now that I got that uh, figured out, we are going to go back to our timer block. We are going to set up our actions. Pistons all, we want to first increase our velocity. And second, we then want it to reverse. Because we want it to retract quicker than when it extended. Because ideally, you're going to be slowing these down by quite a bit. And um, we want to make sure that uh, you're not waiting forever for your pistons to retract. And then on this yellow one, we're going back to, you would have guessed it, piston percentage. We're going to leave it at 0% for our threshold, but switch it to equal or less than. And we want to add targets or stage one block. And our actions, we want our pistons to all of them increase our velocity because we reversed our velocity our, our velocity is now in the negative so to slow it down you need to increase the velocity if that makes sense and with that our auto retract and uh, extension is done I do want to make let's make one quick change set these up to negative one make it all quick and if we go to our button over here I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna target stage one piston and extend we extend it you'll see it will get through this first one get the second one And third one. And then when that our green piston is all the way extended, it should retract nice and neatly as such. Now, that's cool and all. We're going to take this one step further because... Well, yes, you could just look at the pistons. What happens if we made an indicator to show uh, which piston is currently firing? So with that, we're going to need an additional three event controllers and some sort of light block. Now, this these light blocks don't have to be attached to the event controller. They could be in the cockpit. Um, but for this one, we are going to... You know, I'm just going to leave it as such. We're going to go back to our favorite event, the piston percentage. And we want equal greater than, and I'm going to set this down to like 1%. Select our target block. In this case, it's going to be stage one. And we're going to set our actions. I believe the light panels we're looking at are six, seven, and eight. So we're going to start with six. Now, when it hits over 1% or greater, we want it to turn on. And when we want it to sit here and go under 1%, we want it to turn off. We want to do the same thing for the rest of these. So this one, I'm going to go into the menu and again, just in percentage. 
actions. Light panel at seven. Uh, on. Turn off. And then we want to target stage two. Last one. Same thing. Distant percentage. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Equal greater than 1%. Lock. Select action. On. Oh. Uh -huh. Here. It's all off. So last thing, let's just do something other than white. Because white is boring. Let's do... Land's a good color. Make sure that's off. That's off. Off. And with this, we should be able to just start. That's on. Can't really see it. That's on. And that's on. Now, clearly there's a slight flaw with it being the bright daytime, but if we switched over to a uh, time where it's not directly noon, we can clearly see that when this goes off, It will trigger for every single stage of our piston. And with that, that is it on just our staged in auto retracts kind of automation for our pistons. Uh, now, I do want to sit here and say I, all of these things are kind of building up towards kind of something. And that something is kind of what you see out in the background is a. Uh, Nice little drill rig I'm going to sit here and finish out and hopefully uh, let you guys, you know, have a gander at it through the workshop. But with all of that, I do want to say thank you for watching this video if you, you know, made it past, the, you know, this far. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks again. Uh, please like, subscribe to my channel and uh, check out the playlist on uh, other tutorials that I may have. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or even constructive criticism for how I did things, maybe there's something that you found better, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below. I'm always, always enjoy reading uh, something new that or, or something I can improve on in either my gameplay or even my uh, video quality. With that, thanks for last time. Have a great rest of your night.